Hello Soldatans and welcome to our War Thunder Weekly Review. This is a series in which we will review one tank each week and make a gameplay with it to showcase its strengths and weaknesses. This week we will showcase one of the iconic tanks of World War II, the KV-1. This video will have two sections which we will use. First section will be where we will speak generally about the tank, where we will uh, showcase his armor, gun, performance and some numbers on a paper. While the second part of our video will be gameplay where we will take this tank out and drive it and try to make a game, nice gameplay footage for you guys so you can see how he behaves in realistic battles. One more thing before we start guys is that you can request a tank you want us to review and take out next time. You can do so by leaving a comment down below or giving your opinion of this tank as well. So hello soldatans and welcome to our general performance part of this video which is a first section. Here we will take a look at the numbers and general performances of this tank. To start right away, I want to say that KV-1 L11 is a rank 2 heavy tank, which is for this tier heavily armored and cannot be penetrated by a lot of tanks. His armor is 75 millimeters all around, so everything around this tank is 75 millimeters. Look at this, 75 millimeters, sorry, uh, 75 millimeters here. 75 millimeters over here 75 millimeters over here here we have 96 so it's even harder to penetrate this we see that this uh, flat area over here is also 75 millimeter wait this is not flat. yeah this is angled 31 uh, uh, degrees and it is 80 millimeters down here it is even 90 and one good thing uh is that why this is a little bit more sloped than the rest of the tank is that uh, in most of the tanks their transmission is up forward while on the KV-1 their transmission and engine is all the way behind. So this means if you are penetrated down below your machine gunner, your driver and possibly one more crew member over here will be killed or even you can be ammo wrecked or one shot at because ammo is all around they're literally sitting on the ammo so that is a good thing that your lower glaces is a little bit more thicker and it is a little bit more sloped from sides down here on the hull it's again 75 millimeters so this tank is a literal literal can 75 millimeters all around with a five-man crew which is a really really big uh, number in this tier and especially for the soviet tanks but again this is a huge tank it is 46 tons that is a lot one more thing uh, to mention is that his penetration is not the greatest you will be able to penetrate most of the tanks it's not tremendous as uh, someone would say but it's decent enough that you can penetrate them penetrate your enemies uh, however if you encounter another KV-1 on the field, you will not be able to kill it even from the side, even if he's standing there and telling you, please gangbang me, you will not be able to. Also, when you are using this tank, I would highly recommend you guys to try to angle your tank in this way, so like a 30 degree. So that way uh, opponents, or maybe 20 degree, maybe 30 will be too much. But try to angle your tank to get that little bit more effective armor. So look at this. Effective thickness 175. Here 120. 100. So that's really, really thick. So this is a great, great beast which you can use. It has a 9 second reload which is not that much, it's, I mean, it's pretty decent, this is a heavy tank, and it is really heavy, it can also move at a decent speed of a 34 kilometers per hour, not the greatest, but again, I'm saying this again, I mean, I'm making a lot of, uh, I'm putting a lot of accent on the fact that this is such a heavy tank for this tier, and it is really 
maybe even I wouldn't say overperforming, but in some situations it is definitely it definitely cannot be matched by other tanks of this tier. So definitely a great great beast. So let's go and let's jump to our second part of this video. We will where we will slav drive this tank and where we will take this beast out and show you how it behaves on the field. So Soldatans, welcome to our gameplay part of this video. So I made it a, a live commentary of our realistic battle. However, there were some problems with it, with the audio at least. So I have to make a commentary of my live video. So I'm not gonna use a replay. I'll just use the stuff which I made live. And I'll just add my comments to it. So this is a battle on map Kursk, which is in, I don't know, is it, is it coincidence or something, but it's a really great map and it's really showcasing the Russian victory of the Second World War. And also it will show you how powerful K1 is. So this is a map with a wide open area with a lot of... Uh, clear sight so you cannot hide a lot and there are not enough places uh, for you to hide and I will show you how powerful armor of KV-1 is when it's being attacked by other tanks of his tier or maybe a little bit higher but still around there so we are as you guys can see engaging this village here on the right side from the point so I want to capture this because the village is between us and the point. So we cannot be flanked from that side uh, where the point is unless enemy tries to go inside the city. However, if they are to go inside the city then they will have a huge, huge problems because then they'll have to expose their flank to our guys which are trying to capture the point. So all in all, this will be an interesting uh, game definitely will show you the might of the kv1 here and his armor and we scored the first hit already so sherman was crossing around we spotted them earlier we use our uh, binoculars to spot the enemies while we are moving so that we can prepare for uh, our engagement and see we just ricochet uh, a shot and you will see where he was he was pretty damn close look at that again another ricochet and look at that through the frontal armor sherman's frontal armor is pathetic piece of cake for our kv1 so we are gonna go back a little bit because we are oh yeah look at that another one pops out and we managed to move our armor and we managed to ricochet another head so, so far we have been engaged by three Shermans, all of them bounced and we managed to score some pretty damn good heads. So, armor of K1 is great, it, it can soak up a lot of damage as we told, five, five crew members, great armor and it's really performing great on these kind of maps. And let's not forget that on close quarters it is also great because it is massive, it has a lot of armor and it can soak up so much damage that enemy cannot kill you that easily. But as we told, Panzer IVs can kill you easily, but Panzer IV uh, F2 with that 75mm high velocity gun can penetrate you without any problems, M10 as well, Wolverine, so they can penetrate your armor and Sherman can as well up close. So you need to be careful. So over here I wanted to go after that guy and I was thinking to go maybe from behind but then I thought what the hell let's go all in and look at that. He managed to penetrate my armor, my cupola frontal armor and managed to get a hit. So he's trying to sneak a shot uh, on my side. So over here I was trying to get him outside a little bit if he tries to outflank me so that my allies can support my back. Uh, while I get in position. Only our cupola is jammed. So our crew members are back in line. So we are trying to move, move, move a little bit behind. To get in position to get the cupola. We need one hit and boom. There it is. We just needed that one hit and he is down. So we have 
three kills an enemy got not and look at this over here <laughs> anti-air unit is just driving by i don't know what are they trying to do i'm using my machine gun to do uh, a lot of damage while also trying to get in front with my jam cupola to get ahead uh up forward a little bit to try to get the driver and to try to get in the middle of uh the vehicle so that way when we see the splash it will go around clean driver and the gunners as well behind so that was an only seven second repair not a lot so we can move again so now once we cleared uh, the village we can move towards a but look look at this there is a danger that they can come from our right side over here from their spawn but since we killed a lot of them i don't think that they have so much left that we uh need to fear and also we lost about 50 percent of our points up uh on a bar if you guys can see so we need to go forward and try to put pressure from flanks now on the enemy and try to gamble over here that we can move up try to score and try to capture the point our allies are already feeling where enemy might be so that those are the directions uh which we will take care uh, again we will use binoculars while, while we are crossing this uh, vast open area you guys can see I mean on Kursk it's a great map I really love this map it is so nice it's so beautiful and it's definitely one of my favorite maps and KB1 on this map is performing perfectly for his tier so it's a perfect showcase of Battle of the Kursk uh, if only low tier tanks would have been used but kv ones were definitely being used at that uh, time at least kv line of tanks were so i mean also kv1 was the most powerful tank in 1941 so here we are while we are crossing the field we s we can see that several of enemies are firing at us over here so we're using our binoculars to spot them we s we see the these trails after their shells so those will be used to kind of um, pinpoint where the enemy is <clears throat> so far i believe that there were like three enemies yep three enemies firing one from uh front one from uh north east and one from east side and see uh, another bounce i'm trying to move trying to uh turn my armor while we are moving so that, that they cannot get a clear shot and look at that a plane just crashed into me over here i mean i don't see him being killed over there on the right side of the screen but i did saw a wing coming out so coming off sorry uh but the problem as you guys can see over here with the kv1 is that his uh gun is low velocity so it needs some weight and there we go we are killed but anyways just to finish my thoughts so uh his gun is low velocity it's not a huge velocity so uh, you need to get it up a little bit higher if you're firing at a longer distances and it you will need some time to learn that however this is a close quarter tanks and you can definitely perform really really nicely from medium to close range i mean from longer regions longer ranges you will perform great as well the only problem is that your gun is not that great neither however they will not be able to penetrate you as well so you can try to soak up damage for your allies and try to make some support roll on longer ranges longer ranges oh my god what is wrong with me however up close you are the beast you are the master so i hope that you guys enjoyed in this if you did i hope that you will return back and that you will check other stuff on this channel as well so see you guys and enjoy so thank you soldatans for staying to the end uh, just by being here i guess that you enjoyed if you did why not uh, subscribe and like that will help this channel a lot you can also leave a comment down below recommending your tank or making some of your own opinions of the tank which we just review. In any case, I'm really grateful for you to be here and see you soon.